Hi everyone and welcome to our second edition of our Working Active Kids videos. So today we are going to be doing an agility and decision making session with May. First up we'll be showing you how to do this with cones and later on we'll be showing you an alternative. So, so you're going to set up a small square like this. Today we've got four different coloured cones on the outside and one in the middle. And you're going to start off by giving an instruction which is the colour that May is going to touch. So it's one colour and then they have to turn and touch that cone. We can increase the difficulty of this by giving two colours. So here we went red and then blue. And then we can also add three colours in a row. So this now test your memory. So we're going yellow, blue, yellow. So three colours in a row and you're going to touch them. Here we're working different combinations of either one, two or three colours at any one time. So allowing May to use her decision making, using her footwork and touching the cone. And if you really want to test yourself, you can work your way up to four or even five colours. Testing out your memory, nice fast feet, keeping your balance all the way through. So if you do have a little bit more space, we can adjust it ever so slightly by increasing the distance between each cone. Again, we're starting off just with one color combination and then we'll increase the difficulty. And as you can see May here, side stepping out to touch the cone, keeping a nice low center of gravity and she's able to move quickly between each color. Again, you can see May using nice side steps. She's remembering when the cones are and what order the colors are in and she's moving between following the instructions. You can either do this with a partner, either a parent or a sibling, or we can look to write down the colors on a piece of paper and then using looking at this piece of paper and deciding which color cones we're gonna touch. Still testing our memory of where each cone is and our agility to get there. So we can take this drill a little bit further. So if we have any kind of object that we can catch, it can be a ball, it can be a foam dice, anything like that. Now we're going to go back to our small square and we're going to add in a catch. So we're going to catch and then we're going to call out the instruction as May's catching and she's got to touch the cones. We went with four colours here. So again, taking the catch, throwing back and then touching the cones. Great stuff. If you don't have a partner who can throw the ball, you can always use a wall, throwing against the wall, taking the catch and then moving back to touch our cones. So we started off with a medium sized ball and now we're going to work our way to a slightly smaller ball. So we're testing our hand-eye coordination a little bit more. Again, giving the instructions of which cones to touch and then we're back resetting into the center. Making that catch, touching the cones, nice low center of gravity and reset. Another different step we can take in this drill is we can use football skills. So if you do have a football at home, here we're using an instep tap back to throw it or we can do it from our hands against the wall and then we're touching the cones. So again, nice instep, giving the instructions of which cones to touch, and then we're back resetting to center. And it doesn't have to be your instep. Here we're going for a chest control, and then we're gonna use our instep to tap it back to the feeder. Again, touching the cones. Color instructions are given for the throw or as the throw is being taken, and then we're using the football skills to chest control, pass back, and then touch the cones. Last example. Now you've got to grips with the drill. It doesn't matter if you don't have cones, you can use any household items. Here we're using a water bottle, a magazine, a purse, and a sock. So we're giving the instructions rather than the colored cone, we're going magazine, bottle, sock, sock, purse, and then back to center. Again, same principle with adjusting the number of instructions given, and we're still utilizing those same balance and agility drills. So it doesn't matter what you have lying around the house, it could be a plate, a bowl, anything that you can easily remember and use as a cue to go and touch and work on that agility. If you're unable to do this standing, not a problem at all, we can make an adjustment and we can do it seated as well. So here May's in a seated position, she's got five items now, all within reach of her, and we're using a ball, sock, purse, bottle and magazine to touch. Again, working on one instruction, two, three and four if we want to increase the difficulty. Have a little look here. Again, working on different instructions, we're touching more than one item in different orders. So we can either write this down in front of us and use our memory to remember, or we can use a partner to give us instructions of which ones to touch.
And finally, if you do have cones around, we can make that adjustment in the seated position. Again, five cones, all different colours, within reach of where May sat. So we're giving one, two, three, and four instructions at any one go, using our memory and our decision making to see which one we can touch and how quickly we can touch it. Great stuff. And if we want to change the challenge ever so slightly, you can see the color combination we've got here, blue, yellow, white, red, and green. To make it a bit more difficult, we can shuffle the colors around. So now rather than just using memory, you may have to adjust for the first few sets to figure out where the cones are and what order. So we're given her four instructions. She's having to remember where those cones are and touch them accordingly. So give us a go. Let us know how we get on. So drop us a comment or even send us in a video. Thanks very much guys and we look forward to seeing you next week.